Hi folks, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. This is part two of our little playthrough, and we're starting up this morning with Kelvin sitting in the river for some strange reason. Yep, I'm not sure what he's doing there. I actually told him to go and get some fish. But I guess he was just having a little rest. Oh, there he goes. I oh, know, he's having a drink now. Fair enough. Well, I'll join him and I will have a drink too. We just started up the day. So, get some water on board and I need to get some food. So, let's, uh, let's try one of these ramen noodles. What does that do? Our food's halfway. It didn't quite get us to the top, but not bad. Right, so, like I said before, the next thing we need to do is build a little bit of a shelter. Uh, we started building the shelter by building the base here. Um, and then I said we'll go off and get a bunch of materials. So I've chopped down a lot of trees. But unlike the original game where you could get log sleds that you could fill up with logs and then drag them back up around, this game only seems to have log holders. And a log holder only carries six logs. And since each wall piece... I think needs at least six logs. That's like a holder for every one. Hello, Calvin. Are you going to go and get some fish and uh, drop, well, drop here? One of the log holders is not, maybe not the best, but right, go and get that. I need to fill up my drying rack again. Yeah, so I ended up having to build so many log holders to hold the logs that I potentially will need to do a pretty basic base. That, oh, there's a, there's a bad guy. Here. Come here. Ah, uh, got him. Right. But so many attacks. Oh. There's an arm come in, I kill it, that uh, I think my log holder is perhaps actually full. Uh, let's light the fire again. Not my log holder, my bone holder. Uh, so, pick you up, stick you down there. Yeah, so I I'd filled all these places and I was starting to run out of space for it. So, and if you log out, I believe if you leave stuff lying on the ground and you log out, then they disappear. So the remaining pieces, I just stuck them in here. Now what I want to do now is we're going to take this down. So using the C button, you can take down. That's one of the good things about this, that you can actually take a whole base down and you don't lose any of your parts. So take the logs, drop them down over there. Because uh, what I want to do, I, I showed you how to make this sort of floor at the end of the last episode. But what I want to actually do, because it's actually weirdly uneven here, and a lot of these, like I had to turn this one 90 degrees because it's too much of a slope to, to keep them. So I want to actually lift the base just slightly off the ground so I can get a bigger area that has oh, not another one where is it where is it Kelvin you can you normally tell me where it is I heard it but I can't see it I'll just carry on and pretend there's nothing there. And put them over there. Pick that up. Chuck it over there. And then I can even pick up these half planks. You can hold four of them at once. And I'll move them over here. Keep them apart from the full logs. I think in the, the previous game, if you built anything and didn't like it, and you took it apart, there he is. Can you come in? 
Yeah, if you broke it apart, basically you you destroyed the whole thing. So what we'll do is, if I, if I just drop that log there and hover over it, it should see these red dotted lines. So that one's going to, maybe going to stop rolling, please. That'll chop the log in half, and we should be able to do quarter logs as well. There we go. So if I do that, you get a quarter log, and then uh, I get the point there, another quarter log. Uh, one more. There we go. Right. So if I then take them over here and look down, I can place one like that. I don't know if it will. Does it? Oh, it does. It does bring up a whole line and put up another one. And right, take another two. There's another one. One more over here. There. So, because it had the dotted line with a circle. Oh, that's not going to be big enough. Right, let me let me pull that one out of the ground at the moment. And we'll stick that one here. And then I can take two full-size logs and place them like that. And it just raises the the building just slightly off the ground. You could put them full size if you wanted. Right, let's try that again with where's the Oh I used one, two, three, four. Okay, so I need to chop this one up. So let's quarter this one again. And take that and that. Let's see if I can prop this up to the right height or whether I'll need a bigger one. No, I need a bigger one, okay. So put one over here. And one here. And then I'll take that half log. And prop it up here. You can see the red outline still not going to be big enough. Down. Put that on top of it. There we go. That's right. All right. Let's get two more of these. One here and one here. And I probably need beam in the middle. So I'm going to need. Half and then another quarter. I heard it shouting again, but still can't see it. Right, take them, take them. One there, one there. Thunder and lightning. Lots of rain. Did you actually get fish? Oh, the bones are all burnt out. Uh, I don't know if I can. No, nope, I can't make any anything else with them. Right. Can you get? fish and drop here. Okay, thank you. Uh, right, so I've got a quarter log there and a quarter log there. So one will go... Did that go in the right place? Mm. Yeah, that's too small. So I'm going to need half logs 
for that last bit at the end. Right, let me just stick that in the ground in case I lose it. So, come on, get the line. Half log, half log. Here. And here. Right. Let's get this filled in. And across there. That one there, that one there. So, I don't know about you, but this seems an awful lot of effort just for a little 2x3 little base. So we need a lot of pieces. What else do we need? We need one in here, going that way. I'll oh, need one in there as well. Going that way. Right, I think that's. Ah, he's getting fish. Okay. Oh, can I not pick fish up? Ah, no. So let's draw fish, dried fish, dried fish. I've got two fish, and I only carry one at a time, uh, three at a time. It's the gold guy. I believe he's tougher than the normal ones. Are you running away or are you going to come back? Let's just continue with some building. Oh, that's the wrong place. me from up on top. Where did he go? Okay. Oh, there's a different guy. Hello, you. as well, look. Oh, chopped his leg off. Chuck over there. Oh, did that piss him off? Sure did. Oh, I'm almost dead. Pause. Take some meds. Get my health back up. That's a different one up there. Where'd the mask guy go? Is that him? Yeah, looks like he's running away. Okay, I'm okay with that. Alright, let's get back to uh, splitting. Oh, I've got two logs, of course.
that way. Get this one down there. Hello. I did get a lot of attacks while I was chopping these trees down, which is why the bone, ho bone holder is uh, so full. Draw leg collected. What am I supposed to do with that? Skull. Is that more fit? Oh, he's broke my fish holder. Oh, man. Alright, let's build a new one. A drying rack. Let me out the sticks. Get a whole bunch of sticks. Right. Oh. Raw fish. I can only pick up. One fish at a time. Because I've got two fish. I don't know if I can, can do anything with them. Maybe I can put them back on the drying rack. Which will allow me to pick up three. So that's all I can hold. Oh, I've eaten it. Oh well, I needed food anyway. Okay, so it just... One E instead of holding E. Uh, that one, that one. Uh, got more fish lying on the floor, but right. Let me get a drink. Here he comes. One and you. Oh, wow. Oh, of course. When you come to, you come to in their camp. And you have to cut yourself free. Oh, oh, there's a guy there. And then you have to grab your backpack. And leg it. But I don't know which way to leg it. Uh, where's my camp? That down... this way. Okay. Okay, so we're just at the top of the, the river. Not too far away at all. I'm after you. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them across there. And so, how far are we away? Oh, not too far, because I can see the sea from here. Lots of squirrels. Oh, Kelvin's following me. He's up behind me somewhere. Here we go. Back home again. So they must take you and drag you to their camp. Get back to it. One, one more for there. OK. 
Okay, so one down here. Pick up. Oh, I can't pick that up because I've got a log in my hand. Right, so we've got to start building the walls now. And that goes in there. So that's the two by three done. Uh, let's do one, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six for each wall. Right. I'll probably speed this bit up then. Right, so that's me out of logs, and I haven't quite got all the walls done. Uh, we'll have to still do this one wall and then cut a door out of it, and then we, of course we have the roof to do as well. So what I will do is I will get Kelvin to go and get logs and fill the holder. But while he does that, I'm actually going to run up and try and get the modern axe. So in the previous forest game, in fact I need to actually get some healing going as well. Some meds. The food's not too bad. Let's just take a little energy bar just to top it up. Nearly topped up. Health should go up. Yeah, in the first game, the first thing that you used to have to get was the modern axe. I'm going to get a log out of that thing, Kelvin. Uh, and it was in a cave, and it seemed to be all the tools and weapons were in caves. But from what I've seen, they're not in caves in this game. A lot of the stuff is actually in little camps and points of interest outside the world. And as far as I'm led to believe, the first thing I want to get is the modern axe, because that'll do help me as a weapon to do more damage and also help me chop down trees easier. And the modern axe location is just up due, due ahead, straight ahead of where I am right now. A, past that green dot, up past that purple dot, and then slightly off to the right. So I'm going to head up the, that way, although I do realise that's now in the direction of this camp. Uh, I'm going to have to be relatively quick, because it might actually get dark relatively soon. But let's just work our way up this path. And we're going to try and find it. And hopefully Kelvin will stay behind and actually have a bunch of logs for us when we get back. And we can also finish vi visit that green 
dots. I'm not sure what the difference between the green dots and the purple dots are. And are those trees actually starting to change colour? Does that mean that it's starting to become autumn and therefore will become winter in the not too distant future? Right, there's the camp where we were held captive. So I think we'll just go over to the side here. We'll kind of skirt around the outside of that. And saying that, right, let me just run away from them. Oh, there's another one. So let's, we're basically cutting that corner and we're heading off towards that green marker on the map. We'll see what that is. So it looks like it's just around this corner. Zoom in a bit. So there should be. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. The golf carts. So let's get. Oh, we've got all. Are we full and printer resin? Surely not. Can't highlight it. Nope, it's not let us pick that up. And there's these. Jordimeter things there. Another golf cart that doesn't have anything in it. So yeah, that's not not very exciting. Don't think there's like a cave. Is that a cave entrance up there? No, it's not. Okay, let's keep going because time is short. So we want to get to that. What? Like almost a little lake thing, and we want to get to the other side of it. Oh, there's a couple of deer. We don't have a bow and arrow to take them down yet. Right, so that path that leads off to the east or to the right off of the edge of the lake is where we want to follow, I believe. Uh, yeah, so this path here, maybe we can find a path. Here's the path. Right, if we follow this path along here, I believe we get to the camp. This could well be it here. Oh, there's a radio playing. So we've got to smash that radio because it will get electronics from it. And I don't know whether it's got any copyright music in it. And there it is, buried in this guy's chest. It can there we go, the modern axe. So we've got another space blanket. Oh, we could save the game there. Oh, we could save the game and sleep in there. So we'll see how this goes, time-wise. What have we got? Ooh, what are they? Zipline rope collected. Ah, nice. And more, and some duct tape. Anything in that back? Ah, no. Mushrooms, beer, fly and muta. More grenades, more mushrooms. Oh, look at that. Uh, C4. Flares. Anything on you? Want to drink the water that, that guy's been floating in? Why not? Energy drink. More meds. Those bottles are seen. Oh, duct tape. Smash that laptop. We can. More electronics. What was that? Duct tape again. 
Right, what time is it? Get my map out again, sorry. That's only five. Something else over there. Slightly too early to save the game at the moment. Let's run over this way then. Now that we've got our nice new modern axe, what's up at the top of this path? So the green one would just seem to be Yeah, the green dots just seem to be at like a point of interest of some sort with the golf carts, but there doesn't seem to be much in much there. So let's see what the purple one is. Must be getting close now. Can we zoom in again? We can zoom in again. What, what do we got? Uh, energy bars, more booze, rope. Ah, uh, there's something dangling on this. Can we get the rope? No. Oh, we did. Uh, how do we get down, though? Over this way? Here we go. Down here, and then round the corner. Right, it's probably starting to get dark now, although it's only... 17.40. Uh, where did we... Oh, what's this? Jesus, somebody's knee happy. Small rock. GPS locator. Ooh, a torch. Ooh, nice. Right, but we don't want that because we'll use its battery up. Is that everything around here? Oh, there's a purple dot has disappeared now, so I guess we've got the loot that we were looking for. Right, let's get back down to those tents and sleep. I think this is the way down. Oh, Kelvin's following us. Where is the path? The path is this way. Eh, uh, uh, where's the river? This way. Properly getting dark now. Oh, that's a cliff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. There we go. Here's the tent. Right, will it let us sleep with that guy speaking? Oh. Let's see. Oh, it did. Excellent. Right. Torch off. Right, so we need to get back to camp now. So that is this way. Oh, and there is... There's Kelvin coming. Right. Kelvin, I didn't want you to come here. You're supposed to be chopping trees. Our, our food is in a bad way, so let's let's one eat one of these MRE meals. Oh wow, that was like hardly anything. Okay, that'll do. Hello, you. Oh, two of you. Oh, you went up a tree. 
Right, let's get down to the water and get a drink. Okay. And then we need to head home. So this way. Yes, we want to bypass that camp that's over there. What's that? It's just a tree stump. Head in this direction, but we'll try and keep in this bank. Try and keep away from those guys. Whatever the camp is. Wonder how many logs Kelvin got for us before he decided to follow us. Oh, I'm at. The golf buggy location, which does stay on the map. Am I going the right direction? I'm following the river, so I think I'm going in the right direction. Stamina is okay. Closer to the river. I think that's where the camp is at this kind of. Yep, there's their camp there. There's nobody there. Oh, there is. There's a guys in the river. And I think that guy, just at the top of my aerial thing there, if, is that the golden. I don't think it is actually, because he had like black clothes on. Hope he's not back down destroying my base. Right, we can cross the river again. Down here, should be pretty close now. somewhere. Here it is. Home again. Right, let's have a look. Not a single log in any of the holders. Well done, Kelvin. Okay. Right, put, put the map away. Put the map away. It's not letting me put the map away. What's going on? What? It's stuck. I know. Let's chuck ourselves in the water. Well, this is maybe not deep enough. Axe it back out. There we go. Map away. Oh, that was weird. Right, where's the nearest trees? There's a tree there. Let's see what the difference with this axe is. I guess that was quicker. Six or seven from each. From each tree. Handy if Kelvin was here to help, but he's not. Alright. One more. Can I reach? Yep. Right, now I need to chop the door out. Take 
out. One more. Right, let's see if I'll let me put a door in. There we go, up and down the way. And... Let us go through the door. Why is that wanting to chop it in half? Do I need to build like a ramp up to it? So I can walk through it. Can't carry any more blueberry seeds, okay? Kelvin hasn't arrived yet. Is he coming? No, he is coming, but just really slowly. Right, so I should be able to make a ramp up to the door by putting one there and one there. That's actually maybe... So we could do it with half logs. Let me try. Chuck one down on the ground and stop it rolling. Come on, where's the, the oh, there it is, oh, up there, there. Right, can I take that and put it? No, that's just going to want to prop up supports. Okay, let's stick that one in the ground. Put that one in the ground, just to stop them rolling away. quite a shallow steps up the alright so we're home here now I think if we right click that one yeah it gets steps if it has the other way it becomes a smooth ramp come here, come here. let me see if I can show you that so right click Oh, no, it doesn't let you do that. Uh, let me pull these up briefly. So if I put them down like that, it becomes a ramp. If you right click, so it goes up and down the way. No, it's not gonna, no, don't tell me it's not going to let me do that now. What's going on? Pick that up, pick that up, put it back down again, pick these up, and where did the other half logs go? That's not letting me do it now. Hold on a minute. Oh, it was just a, a weird angle. What the hell is that? Oh, there we go. Ah, so it is splitting them. And then we can walk up and run in. Right, let's pick these up. Why is there a vertical piece there? Uh, and do the same again. Let's stick them in the ground. Oh, that's that's a half piece. Can I put them in there? No, I can't. Uh, throw it over there then. Let's get these bits of log out of here. Oh, we can bounce them on top of each other. Right, so now we need to build a roof. 
so we need to quickly go and get some more wood and I'll bring you back once I've got enough wood to actually build the roof with. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we're back. So we've gathered a whole bunch more wood. So let's take the logs. So we'll have to support the roof to start with by sticking a couple of verticals down there. And then we can then put a beam right across the roof, supported like that. And then we should then be able to start splitting logs and getting them up on the the top. How many did they take? Did they take enough? Uh, up here. That. Get rid of that. Oh. Kelvin almost got that in the holder. How do I get that up in there without a beam across it? Maybe I can't, can I? Oh, there we go. How do we do that? No, I don't want that one there. I want that one like that. And I saw it there. I saw it. Come on. I definitely saw the arrow. I do, I do have one in my hand. It's not letting me put it up. Come on. Oh, there it is. Phew. That was hard work. All right, two more. Two more. is I should be able to take these vertical ones down and it'll stay oh I've got one more Must have chucked the other ones, did I? Where did the other half go? Are they on the roof? They are on the roof. Awesome. Can I get to you? There's one. There's the other one. Alright, so fill in that gap there. Speak about fiddly. I want the other side done. Oh, that was it there. OK. 
come on, come on, come on. Right, I know, let's... Oh, I won't be able to do it from outside. Damn it. That's that bit, but I want the middle one, or the end one done first. So that it can fit in. There we go. Right, so that's the whole of the roof done. Now, the question is, if I take this away, and this away, it stays up. Excellent. Alright, let's put those back in there. How's my fish getting on? They're all dry, okay. Is that all I can carry? Three dried fish. Alright, so let's eat that one. Get my food back up. Right, that is... Oh, I guess you can stop getting logs for the moment. Ah, I'll just leave them at it. Yeah, so that, that's the basis of our first little shack. Very, very simple, but as you can see, it takes so much work just to get the materials to do something as small as this 2x3. And a little bit of... A, I don't know what you call that. Foundation work to lift it slightly off the ground because you can see how much of a gap there is at this side compared to this side. And if we start making that bigger, you can see it drops off quite a bit. So having it on the floor wasn't really an option. So we need to lift it up so we can balance it out. And we've got a couple of walls. In fact, let's just chop out a window. And let's do another one here. Yeah, that's probably fine. Same at this side. Yeah, and the one above it. There we go. So we've got a couple of windows. We can see... We'll take one out here. Oh! One more thing that we can make. If we go to the book, go to furniture, we can make a stick bed. Uh, spin it around so it's not not the biggest bed in the world. And how many sticks does that need? 16. And one duct tape. There we go. So now, oh. Well, there is, oh, okay. So there is a sleep one there, but because we're, we've already slept, one of the recent updates doesn't allow you to sleep again, so it's greyed out at the moment. But we can save and sleep at this bed here, so we can now take down the little lean-to tent that we don't need that anymore. And that's one of the half-log bits that we don't have somewhere to put it anymore. But yeah, there we go. We've got our first little base shelter thing. And we've got the modern axe. And we also got a torch. Which is a lot better than the little lighter. So, we're on our way. I think the next thing we'll need to do is start working on some defences around the base. Because uh, certainly that guy with the gold mask on, he absolutely annihilated me pretty quickly. I guess we also need armour as well, but few different things to do in the next episode but that'll do for today if you liked the episode please hit the like button hit subscribe and i will see you in the next episode bye now